Hello everyone and welcome to Jimin Weekly News. I'm the Dream and here is the first news for you. Jimin's Like Crazy is the most streamed Korean song by a K-pop soloist in a single year on Spotify. Jimin's hit single for his official solo debut, Like Crazy, continues to reinforce his status as the Korean soloist with one of the most successful solo debuts in history, after it has recently set two new impressive streaming records on the world's largest music streaming platform, Spotify, adding onto the already overwhelmingly long list of achievements and records in sales and streams attained on different music consumption platforms both locally and globally, as I extensively reported to you in the previous episodes of Jimin Weekly News. So, as I have mentioned before, like crazy, had amassed over 532 million streams on the platform just approximately 6 months after its release. Consequently, Like Crazy now set a new record as it became the most streamed Korean song by a Korean K-pop soloist in Spotify history, a record previously held by Genius from Blackpink song Solo. Overall, the song is now the 11th most streamed Korean song by a K-pop Korean act in Spotify history. And just few days after setting this record, Like Crazy set yet another streaming record after surpassing 536 million streams on the platform, becoming the most streamed solo song by a K-pop soloist in a single year. And then Jiminy added yet another record as Like Crazy became the fastest solo song by a Korean K-pop soloist to reach over 540 million streams on Spotify in just 182 days. These streaming records are particularly impressive because Like Crazy has been able to reach these milestones without the help of any big playlists to boost its visibility to the global audience, a strong affirmation of Jimin's captivating skills and talent. In other news, Jimin has extended his record as the longest charting solo artist in the world at number one on Spotify South Korean Daily Top Artist Chart after spending 130 days atop the chart. He is the first and only solo artist in the world to rank number one on this chart for 130 days. Additionally, Jimin's solo debut album Face extended its record as the longest charting album by a Korean K-pop soloist on the Billboard World Albums chart with 25 weeks and still counting. And similarly, with 25 weeks as well and still counting, Like Crazy extended its record as the longest charting solo song by a Korean soloist on both the Billboard Global Excluding US Chart and Billboard Global 200 Chart and the third longest charting song by a Korean soloist on both charts as well. So congratulations once again to our wonderful Jiminy for all of those broken records and achievements that we are so, so proud of. And next up, the preparations for Jiminy's birthday and the special and wonderful month of Jimtober have already started with the projects from amazing Jiminy fan bases all over the world. Starting with billboards for Jimin's birthday that were spotted at a bus stop in Hanam Dong in Seoul. 
The designs of the posters are so beautiful and we hope that Timini will see them himself and admire his outstanding achievements. This is the translation of the text of one of the Timmy's birthday billboards in Hanam and those words on the billboard are absolutely so lovely that they can easily bring tears to our eyes. Just take your time, pause the video and read them yourself because you will need a second to calm down your emotions. Next, in celebration of Jimin's 28th birthday, Jimin Par China fanbase will run advertisement in CU convenience stores throughout South Korea. You will be able to see Jimini pretty ads on CU store screens between 8th and 14th of October in 3440 locations nationwide. And the next Jimin Bar China fanbase project will run advertisements in SRT high-speed rail trains in South Korea. Jimin birthday ads will be viewed between the 8th and 14th of October in every super rapid train carriage in the country on 2304 screens. This project was chosen specifically and has special significance because the high-speed rail connects Jimin home of Seoul and town of his childhood, Busan. And also another project that Jimin Bar China prepared along with all four Jimin Core fanbase to celebrate Jimin's 28th birthday is a Jimin themed bus. The bus will be driven around Seoul including Yongsan, Hongdae, Songsu and Gangnam between October 8th to 14th. And one more Jimini bus wrapping project we will get from fanbases My Lover Jimin and Park Jimin Japan where the bus will be completely wrapped in Jimini banners and will be en route from 5th of October to 15th of October, operating hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the route will be from Hype Building to Boulevard near your Songsu. And then all four Jimin Core and Jimin Moon Rising fan bases also came up together and they set up advertisements on 10 screens at two bus shelters directly across from Hybe. The ads will run for the entirety of October, which means that Chimini should definitely see our birthday wishes. Two further bus shelter ads for Chimini's birthday will run from October 12th to November 11th, organized by Jimin Moon Rising. And additionally, all four Jimin Core fanbase organized Jimin birthday ads at the taxi rank directly in front of Hype for the month of October. Let's cross our fingers that we'll get some Jimini update on his social media in Jimtober of him being so happy that he will be able to see our advertisements prepared especially for him on his birthday in his birthday month. And next, another prepared celebration from Jimin Moon Rising is at support at more than 1,250 Olive Young stores that are the largest national chain of beauty stores in South Korea. Jimin Ad will play on over 2,500 screens between October 2nd to 15th. 
And it is absolutely fitting that beautiful Jimin ads will be played in beauty stores. And next up, another advertisement from the Chimini fanbase Fabulous Boy JM on the Busan Station Subway Electronic Display Board is running ahead of schedule and it will be running until October 31st. So, if you live near this station, you can see this pretty Jimin advertisement in the passageway leading to exit 57 of Busan Station and take a lot of photos like this one so that we can witness this beauty as well. Next, to celebrate Jimin Day of 2023, Chimini fanbase Slow Starter 1013 will be holding a cafe event and mini exhibition at Tuxom Station Exit 6 from 12th to 14th of October. So, if you are planning a trip to Seoul at that time or you live in the area, you definitely must visit this location and post a lot of pictures on social media so that the rest of us can witness it as well. And next up, to celebrate Jimin's birthday, a birthday cafe event will be held for 18 days from October 5th to 22nd at Coconut Box in Hongdae, Seoul. And Jimin's 2 meter tall birthday serendipity ball will be again on display. The ball is to be exhibited as part of this event organized by Coconut Box Party. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful news that we will be able to see the legendary serendipity Jiminy ball on the streets of Seoul once again. And one more project that will be going on in Hanamdong, Seoul through the whole month of October to celebrate Jiminy's 28th birthday. The bus shelter advertisements will be running in the same area as one spotted by Jimin for Aram's birthday. So that chances will be even higher that Jiminy will get to see them when he is going the next time on his morning run. And next, in other places in the world, we also have great preparations for Jimin Day. Chimtober in Indonesia will have four projects. As the part one, it was presented that it will be a birthday ad project digital billboard that will be running in Jakarta on Saturday of October 14th. Next, Jimini's Switzerland fanbase have prepared for the first time Jimin Cup Sleeve birthday event that will be going on on 14th of October between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. The event will be going on in Zurich and at the location upon buying one large bubble tea you will receive cup sleeve plus photo card and sticker for free. Swiss Chimini biased armies are very excited for this gathering and they can't wait to meet everyone. So, if you live in Zurich and or surrounding area, don't forget to visit this lovely event. And one more amazing project from Jimin Kenya fanbase in celebration of Jimin's birthday this year. You can join the cause of supporting children growing up against the backdrop of hunger, conflict and natural diseases with Save the Children. I will leave the link to the donation page in the description of the video. Thank you Jimin Kenya for this amazing initiative following the example of Jiminy's kindness and generosity. 
And the next news is that Voss Media reported that there is rumors the Argentine producer Visa Pop could collaborate with Simin. Others claim that Visa Pop could soon collaborate with Lali Esposito or the Spanish singer Aitana. I know it is a just a little rumor right now and it might not turn out to be true, but do you think that Cimini is preparing one more song or even a second album for us before the end of this year? Tell me what are your predictions in the comments. And next up, Jimin set a unique record in the male idol category of star ranking by Star News, where he has not left the top position in the star ranking male idol category since November of 2021 which now has made him the number one male idol for incredibly 100 consecutive weeks. Star News, of course, wrote also article about it, saying Timin boasted global popularity by maintaining the title of the first place for 100 consecutive weeks. This result is a record that has been achieved consistently since the start of star ranking voting. And also, Jimin ranked number one on September K-pop Male Idol Popularity Contest, where he received a total of 3,591 votes out of 7,614 votes in the survey conducted by the Japanese media Danmi. Congratulations, Jimini, for both of those incredible achievements. And now, the summary of Jimini mentions by other idols, celebrities, media outlets, and much more. So first, Madame Figaro Japan magazine singled out Jimin in its report article on the Lady Dior celebration titled Lady Dior Art Attracts Jimin and K-Stars. And in the article they wrote the opening event was attended by a large number of Korean stars who captivate the world. Jimin previously talked about the first time he visited the Dior men's collection in a live broadcast and said he was also impressed by the fact that a fashion show was created with the same passion as BTS creating a live stage. And next, recently, Jimin's promotional video for the Tiffany NCO Tiffany Lock campaign was spotted at the Covent Garden's Tiffany NCO store in London. So, if you work or live nearby, you can see it there, displayed beautifully and stunningly every day. Last week as well, Tiffany and CEO shared Jimin's campaign videos on both Instagram and TikTok, and also the Jimini introductionary advertisement video for This Is Tiffany T campaign on their Twitter account. is the moment. Also, Jimin's Like Crazy was captured being played at a bakery in Royal Plaza Mall in Surabaya, Indonesia. The bakery has a Korean connection as To Le Jour is the first South Korean bakery cafe to open in Indonesia. Next up, KBS reality variety show My Neighbor Charles 
used Jimin's clip from his Billboard Hot 100 number no. 1 Weaver's Life as an exhibit example of how a characteristic of today's K-pop is communicating and sharing daily life with fans. And another Korean TV Jimini mention of the last week was from SBS Morning News that mentioned Jimin as a Korean star boasting their global influence as they introduced the news of Ryan Gosling gifting his Ken guitar to Jimin. They just can't get enough of Timini and his connection to Barbie movie. And next, recently a Japanese mother shared on social media that their son started learning kendo because of his admiration for Timin. A year later, he was awarded with a prize that said the person who was most strict with themselves and tried the hardest. And mom said the person their son admires is like that. Another example of the undeniable and exemplary Chimini great influence on today's youth. And next up. Belle Sisoki, a Malaysian singer, songwriter, producer, and multi-instrumentalist, posted on TikTok a cover of Set Me Free Part 2, combining K-pop with EDM and ethnic instruments. And it sounds completely innovative, amazing, and insane! I will leave a link to the full TikTok in the description of the video but now just take a listen to this quick part of it it sounds absolutely amazing <laughs> Next, the Line Friends World pop-up store at Lotte Young Plaza, Myeongdong, Seoul, that opened recently, was full of Jimmy everywhere. Just like his dad, Jimmy is very cute and very loved by everyone. And next up, during the last week, artist Lee K announced that he will exhibit his latest painting of Jimin at the Focus London Art Fair from 4th to 7th of October. The announcement poster of the art fair highlights the portrait of Jimin also shared by Lee Kay previously on his Instagram. And also at his latest exhibition that took place in Seoul in the past weeks. Focus London Art Fair starring Jimin's lovely portrait will be held at Satchi Gallery London between the 4th and 7th of October and this Satchi Gallery is considered one of the most beautiful art spaces in London. And also during the last week, Gallery Nohe where the artist Lee K solo exhibition with Timini portrait titled Blooming Light was previously displayed, posted two photos on their Instagram of the artist talk conversations with Lee K and them taking a picture in front of Timin's portrait. We are so happy to hear that Timini will continue to wow the world of art with his stunning beauty as the absolute perfect muse of the arts. And the next, on September 25th, we got a new photos for BTS and Xylito advertisement campaign. And our Timini, of course, looked absolutely lovely in the photo, wearing a soft green sweater and smiling at us with warmth 
and softness. And then, couple days later, we also got Lotte Zeilito behind the scenes video of still photography Jiminy version on Lotte YouTube channel. So let's take a look at this absolutely dreamy video. And now the final news of the week, which is a little bit sad, but unfortunately the one that we will have to hear eventually is that HYPE has begun hinting at the military enlistment plans for the remaining BTS members who have not yet enlisted. In a statement shared by HYPE on September 25th, we got the confirmation that all seven members of BTS officially renewed their contracts with Big Hit Music, as I reported to you previously, but HYPE also commented on the upcoming enlistment plans for RM, Jimini, V and Jungkook. And they said, we will announce the enlistment plans for the remaining BTS members in sequential order within this year so yes guys by the end of the year we're gonna hear how those plans will go for remaining members including timini and i know we don't want to hear it don't want to get to that point but they already started talking about it so it is approaching but let's not get ahead of ourselves and wait for the day of the official announcements and until then let's be happy and celebrate everything that Chimini and the members are preparing for us before they enlist. If you want to watch even more fun Chimini and BTS reaction that I cannot post on my YouTube channel go to my Patreon and sign up right now also there you can request for me to do special reactions for you so check it out and let's have even more awesome fun together the entrance the fancy entrance yes <laughs> this is me yes <laughs> this is me i want all of this Good representation. I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, I was not ready. I was not ready. Let's go again. And the touching is too much. Too much. Oh, the hip rolling. The hip rolling was rolling. The short shirt and his look. Oh my god! Oh! oh, why he did that? Why? And now, the social media updates. So first, as we all know, on September 23rd, Timini put up a video on his Instagram reel in which he posted a choreography sequence of his song Face Off from his solo album face. He captioned the post with the hashtag this is Timin and all Timin biased armies including me went absolutely crazy. By the way, if you want to see my reaction to it, it is up on the channel right now. And of course, his unique style immediately drew all of our attention not only in his dance moves, but also in his wardrobe. He was wearing cargo pants from Acne Studios, with one leg stylishly rolled up to the knee, and the shirt that he was wearing was a full-sleeved t-shirt 
from Saint MX6 with a big blue print on the front side for his upper body. And from the very start, it was evident that his body movements are executed with precision, showcasing his exceptional talent in contemporary dance. And we all couldn't believe our eyes because we were not expecting to get face of choreo at all. And surprisingly, we got it, which we are so grateful for. And we have shown this gratitude immediately by trending the hashtag this is Timin at number one worldwide. And even more than 20 hours after Jimin posted his jaw-dropping face of dance choreo, This Is Jimin was still trending at number 7 in South Korea. And also, Jimin is real on Instagram featuring his dance to face of choreo has surpassed 20 million views and 5 million likes. K-Media didn't stay silent as well and wrote a whole article describing this Chimini post and ARMY's response to it. Here is the full English translation of this article, so you can pause the video right now and read it. And Chimini's reel was also reposted by BTS's official Instagram account. Does that mean that something big of Chimini is coming? I hope we will be able to find out very, very soon. And next, on September 25th, Chimini posted another reel on his Instagram of him playing around with the Zoom on the video of Taehyung performing Love Me Again on his V's 22nd live at Gangneung. Another fun and heartwarming women moment. And then on September 28th, we got two posts from Timini, one on Weavers and one on Instagram. First one being the wishes of Happy Chuseok the biggest autumn equinox holidays in South Korea and the other one of him sharing a funny drawing of JK. And then I also have to mention that RM wished Armies happy Chusak as well, but his post had a little bit different tone to it because he shared with us his workout video and it definitely was not good for our health and next on september 29th Jimin shared a photo of jungkook's new single 3d on his instagram and he captioned the photo with the cute korean expression translating to 3d our sweetest Jimin never fails to be the most supportive angel. And now, as the final note of this episode, I want to remind you that Teamtober is coming. I have many, many exciting Chimini videos prepared for all of you throughout all of the month of Teamtober, so get ready for a lot of fun and a lot of Timini love on the channel. So yeah, everyone, that is all for this week's news. And at the end, like always, please enjoy Timini achievements. See you next time.